as a child of the 90s, I can tell you that this guy, this man right here, was the scariest man in cinema. For a generation of kids, he was evil incarnate, or evil molded out of liquid metal, whatever the case may be. And all because of a little known movie titled Terminator 2, Judgment Day. A film with an anticlimactic subtitle that redefined visual effects as we knew them and turned actor Robert Patrick into a relentless, remorseless, uh, killing machine. A Terminator, if you will. So, when Reacher Season 2 dropped a Terminator 2 reference, specifically this one... And who's Sarah Connor? I don't give a shit. We were all like... Whoa, whoa. But also... I, I understood that reference. But, did you know that the T2 reference was kind of an accident? A toodle whoopsie doodle on the writer's part. That's because showrunner Nick Santora explains that dialogue was written long before the role of Langston was given to Robert Patrick. In fact, get this, Patrick wasn't even supposed to be in the show. The part was played by another actor before it was recast, and Santora kind of just like, forgot about the line altogether for a while. You see, he was busy stressing that Robert Patrick wouldn't take the role on such short notice. Quote, I said, I know this is late notice, like, you're going to need to be on a plane tomorrow. And he didn't even ask to see a script. He's just a hard worker and he's so freaking talented, and I don't know why, but he just jumped in. Of course, after Robert Patrick got on set, Santora considered cutting the line altogether. Quote, I really did have a thought, if I'm being 100% truthful, do I need to cut this line? Because it's a phone call, so I could easily put something else in and just show the other side of the call. But I figured that fans might enjoy it. It's such an iconic movie franchise, and Robert Patrick is such an iconic actor. So let's have a little fun. Santora's comments about the reference suggested the scene would have gone differently, but thankfully for us 90s kids, it didn't. 